Hey there, welcome back. I have a Sephora play of September. It's been a while, my friend. Let's go ahead and just open this. I haven't done any sneak peeks. I've been so good. I don't like sneak peeks. I like being surprised. This is $10 a month and you always get 50 Beauty Insider points, which is like half a little sample. It's not a lot. I think you even have to make a purchase to use that. So I usually don't end up getting that 50 points. Straight in, everything is inside of this Ziploc looking bag, which is new for me because it used to be cloth bags, which I did not like the feeling of them. So really, do we need a bag at all? I don't think so. Let's dig in. The first thing I'm gonna pull out is this, whatever the smallest thing is, which is you, my little friend. This is by Nude Stick, the Nudies. It's an all over face color. And Poppy Girl, use it on your eyes as a balm for your lips um, or even your cheeks. What? It's a pretty like pink color. It's not red. It's also not bright pink. It actually looks pretty wearable. I'll do a little swatch. It's like, <laughs> go this way. It's not super like covering. It actually, I'll just put it on. I don't have a mirror to see if that looks good or not, but it's like a semi sheer, which is nice because when it's not super pigmented, that's the type I like because I do like rub my lips a lot throughout the day and drink water. It always tends to, if something is like highly pigmented, just wear off and this one I feel like it I don't know actually I can't see I'm looking in the viewfinder and can't see that well uh, usually something that's semi sheer or sheer it looks fine when it's like coming off and you can't tell that you're all patchy so that's a pretty good size for being Sephora usually you get tiny little sample sizes not tiny but just not as this big because you never get full size samples these are all like the hundred point perk samples um, the next thing that we have is Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I actually liked this mask a lot. I've used this before on my hair. It feels really good. I like this spray-in conditioner that they have. I believe this does break me out, but at this point, do I really care? I'm used to it. I'm going through a breakout right now. Like My chest is broken out and my arms just because I had a different hair mask that I use, so I'm willing to break out for a product my hair probably needs it, so I'll, I'll try it again. In the little box, we have a Youth to the People Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. It has kale, spinach, and hyaluronic acid in it. It's just a face cream. I've actually heard of this one before. I think this had a lot of good reviews. I have never tried it, but clearly I'm going to now. It has a really fresh scent. I do like that. And like just looking at it right now, the texture seems like it's going to be pretty lightweight, which is my kind of cream because I'm very oily, but I also get dry patches. So right now I have like a dry, well, wherever my acne is, I usually put on acne treatment at night. So I'll get dry areas, but like my chin the past couple weeks has been pretty dry. But using a uh, peel off one of those nice masks that just takes all your dead skin off. I love those. And I used one the other day and it's doing pretty well now. By C, um, not by C, by Giorgio Armani, C Passion. I did not know they had a passion perfume. I love their C perfume, just the regular C perfume, SI. Um, probably like my favorite night scent. There's a cat on me, and you guys know how much I love showing them off. We have a Chester cat, finally. It's been a while, but... Ugh. He's so much bigger than Oliver, so I always forget how heavy you are. He's such a baby. He loves plastic, so these new plastic bags they come in are 
definitely his jam. I'll put you down. Actually, here, you can have the bag. Wait, <laughs> this uh, uh, first aid beauty product just fell out of the sea thing and I was like, that's not by Giorgio Armani. Let me actually get the perfume out though because I want to smell it for you guys. I'm sick, so I know I'm sounding really nasally right now. I can't help it. Ooh, this smells really good. I can smell it without even spraying it. It smells a lot like the one that I have in my bathroom, just the regular one. Oh, that smells good. You guys have to try this perfume. Just be warned, you will love it and it is expensive. Very like warm scent. I don't know if that's how you describe it. I'm not really good at describing scents. Okay, the next product is the one that fell out of it. This is again by First Aid Beauty and this is a Pores Be Gone Matte Primer with Fig Extract Oil Free. This is what I need. And it says it's safe for sensitive skin. Hello, I am going to definitely use you. I need this in my life. My nose needs this. It is Oil City. This has been, how many hours? I don't know, like 10 hours of makeup wear? And you can tell, and I have on a mattifying powder and I'm still just a, a nice, glowy oil that you can probably bake on. That's that's the oil that I get. And lastly, we have a, oh, no, just kidding. I already said this one. And lastly, we have a Makeup Forever. What is this? Makeup Forever Ultra HD Finishing Powder. I've heard a lot of good things about this. That and the Laura Mercier one, which I still have not used. This is a pretty good size of it also. Now how am I gonna get like this out and fit a big powder brush in it? I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I'm so excited. Let's do a favorite and least favorite product because I used to do those and I think you guys like it. Favorite product is gonna go to, I'm gonna say, I still can't see what it looks like on my lips, so I'm gonna say the finishing powder is what I'm most excited for. Obviously, I don't know if I'm gonna like it the most. This does feel really good on my lips, by the way. But the thing I'm least excited for, that's hard because I actually do not have one. So I'm not even gonna pick it because I even like the perfume sample. Which normally, I'm like, whatever, don't care about you because it's like just an add-in. I'm so excited about this. This smells so good. I feel like if I saw this at the Sephora checkout line and it had $10 on it, I would probably, I think I would buy it. I think, I don't know, depends how I'm feeling in the moment. Am I on a whim checkout type of thing? Or am I on a budget and I'm only in there to get what I want? I think I would buy it. No, I think I would buy it. I'm gonna go with that. I think this was worth the $10. Obviously, I'll have the price breakdown. You'll know if it's worth it. But that is all I have for you today. I will see you guys super, super soon and most likely an empties video because it's that time of the month again. Love you, goodbye.